Havadi, I'm Tanya Chumpokamaniola with Joint Region Marianas Public Affairs Office. We are here at Lubugan Hill, more commonly known as Nimitz Hill, visiting the Asin Bay Overlook Memorial, where thousands upon thousands of names are listed and inscribed on the walls of those who were impacted in Guam during the occupation and liberation of World War II. This site, this memorial, will be rededicated shortly. So come with us today as we learn more about its significance. The National Park Service Park Ranger Dan Brown joins us today to talk about the significance of the wall and an upcoming rededication service. Thank you for joining us today, Dan. Hey, Tanya, thanks for you guys for coming up to the site. Um, you've picked a great day to come up here and view the names on the walls. Um, and I hope your viewers will take equal opportunity over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, absolutely. It's a beautiful site and what, what has been done with it is absolutely amazing. What is the mission of the National Park Service? Yeah, the National Park Service has been in existence nearly 100 years. In fact, next year, 2016, we're coming up on our centennial. The mission is really to make some sort of connection between the people that come to the sites and what the sites have to offer. Here at War in the Pacific National Historical Park, they tend to be a little more personal in nature, too. Uh, this site here, the Assin Bay Overlook, memorializes all of those Americans who were killed during the 1944 Battle of Guam and the 1941 attack on Guam. But alongside them are all of the names of the locals who were either killed during that time or suffered in some way. How many names do we have here at the memorial? Overall, we have 17,771 names. How did the National Park Service attain these names? The list of local names was compiled by the Office of the Governor and the Office of the Congresswoman and then furnished to us. And we took the list of military killed in action from military records. I get a lot of people up, up here who say, so these are all the people that died. These are the people that lived through it. These are the people that suffered through it. We come together today to rededicate a memorial wall that has been updated and reconstructed to serve as a reminder in stone of the American servicemen who were killed and people of Guam who were either killed or suffered greatly during the World War II occupation of Guam and its liberation by U.S. forces through July of 1944. Over the past several months, the, the Park Service has worked to refurbish the memorial wall. Viewers who come up here will notice that it's changed quite a bit. The panels are now in black granite. Uh, they, they weren't before. New names have been added, so it's been expanded and it looks a lot better. Several youth came out over their weekend to help us refurbish, in fact, some of these plaques here, these plaques that provide these glimpses of the, of the wartime on Guam, were refurbished by the hands of skilled park rangers and the junior rangers too. We're pleased to dedicate it again this month. Rededication is great, but you know, it, it means nothing if people don't come and, and check it out for themselves. And so I would encourage your, your viewers to come. We're open every day up until five o'clock. Uh, come and take a look at the walls. Come and take a look for your, for your relative's name or a friend's relative's name. All the way across the Park Service from Yosemite to Pearl Harbor to war in the Pacific on Guam, people are looking for connections and a lot of those connections are right here at this site. Mm -hmm.